Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Been slacking on the videos lately. Been busy. Been very busy with uh, just everything guys. Everything. Life, kids, house, property, work, everything. So today we're going to put this thing to work. Yeah, I know we've been doing some videos on, you know, some cosmetic stuff, some upgrades, talking about some uh you know things changing getting the truck geared up to the way i want it to look but in the end this is a work truck this is a work truck for me so i can't go too crazy with with everything as far as the build goes i need to keep it practical enough that the thing still works so today we're going to be putting it to work all right so here we are if you are just checking in for the first time this is my 2020 f350 platinum 37 1250 20 uh falcon wild peak at3ws I've got a two and a half inch ready lift leveling kit in the front for now. That is temporary. That is not my final lift. It's gonna be taking place. I've got Firestone um, airbags in the back, an airlift wireless one compressor, um, backflip MX4 bed cover. I think I'm missing anything. I don't know, maybe, who knows. But we're gonna be hauling my 14 by seven big techs dump trailer. We're going to pick up a load of firewood. So we're going out to my parents' place and getting some nice dry split ready to go firewood for back to the camp. Sitting nice and level now. It probably was sitting pretty level anyway, even with only 20 pounds in there, but I'll pop 40 in it for now. If I feel it's riding too rough, then I'll just lower it down a bit. But once we get the load on, then you know, obviously we need to put some more air in there. That is the beauty of having the airbags, guys. If you've never used airbags, don't talk and try to say that these trucks don't need them. No, they don't need them, but if you use them, you will never ever be without them. But let's jump in the truck, hit the road, go get this thing loaded up, and put it to work. Woo, doggy. If you warm in here, those heated seats and that heated steering wheel are insanely warm. All right, let's go. Tow haul mode. Not gonna bother with my engine brake right now. So the trailer we're hauling right now, dry weight, is like 4,160 pounds. So we got 4,160 pounds behind us right now. When we get loaded up, I'm not sure how much uh, my father has ready to go, but I'm sure that it's at least a cord or so. So that will add another 3,000, between three and 4,000 pounds, depending on how, how dry it is. This will not be the heaviest load that I hauled with this truck so far. I did haul that load of lumber with this truck the other day when I compared it to the 2019. And this thing is just an absolute workhorse, fellas. Like, you're gonna be asking, why are you going to get firewood? Like you've got firewood laying around your property everywhere. And you're right, I do. But none of it is really dry. It's all, like a lot of it's still not even junked up. It's just sitting there, it, it's it's not dry. I need dry firewood because we are getting a pretty good push on back to the lake right now, back to the camp, and we need some good dry firewood in there. And I've just been so busy with work with the baby and with the host and honestly finishing the camp, because the camp's not even close to being done yet, that I haven't even been able to cut any wood off my property back there at all. I've got probably three or four cord cut but it's just still laying in the ground. Obviously that's not dry. So my father has a crap load of firewood uh, ready to go out to his place. We're gonna go out and get a load of that. So uh, let's head out. I am gonna keep a track of, of my mileage on the way out there. We'll see what we get on the way coming back. When I did the mileage test on this truck before, um, it was off by like uh, 0.9 of an MPG. So I'm not gonna do pump the pump. This isn't what this is about, but I'll let you guys know what, what the mileage is anyway. And for the guys interested, the truck right now has 4,100 kilometers on it, which is 2,500 miles. So we got 2,500 miles on the truck so far. It's still obviously very, very, very new. And uh, man, this thing handles 37 inch tires like they belong. Like it just, it just feels like it belongs from the factory to have 37 inch tires on this thing. So much power, so much torque. You don't notice those 37s on this thing at all. It's, it's actually very, very, very impressive. And I'm not just saying that. Why would I just say that? I don't, 
I don't own this company. I don't own Ford. If there was something wrong with their truck, I would let you guys know. I don't really care to impress anybody. I just say what what uh, I see. So that's what I see. This 2020 with the new 10 speed and the updated engine is the most powerful truck on the market. I've driven them all. I've driven them all. I've driven the Cummins, the new 2019, 2020 Cummins, high output. I've driven the new uh, the new GMs with the 10 speed. And I've driven this truck, obviously. And this is the most powerful, fastest truck, diesel truck on the market today. It just is. It just is. Say what you want. It just is. Anyway, let's go. There is one downfall of having wide tires or, you know, offset wheels with uh, no fender flares and not wide mud flaps. Your mirrors get absolutely covered in crap on days like this. And you can tell that that one, that that side, both tires, the front tire and the back tire, stick out more than the driver's side. So look at that mirror and look at that mirror. Now there is more crap on the road towards the shoulder, but it's a pretty easy indication right there. Man, that is a mess. So if you're hauling a trailer, you depend on your mirrors, that can kind of be a pain in the butt. All right, let's see what he's got going on here. Alright, I'm not sure which wood he's talking about. We got lots to choose from. So I guess we'll have to see. Alright, so we're going back there. And I can't see crap out of that mirror. But we'll get there. We'll get there. That should work. Did I tell you I put the truck to work? I'm putting the truck to work. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got. So you can see we got lots to pick from. He doesn't even have this junked up yet. Junked up, jumped up, and split. Junked up, split, dried, stuffed down below. He's got popple down there. Here comes the dog. Ginger! Hi! Hi! Oh, I think you got the lens. Hi! What's going on? What's going on? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Hi! 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 You, you get more excited than my dogs! Don't ya? Yeah! 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 Buddy! Buddy! Alright, let's do it! Here, just uh, stand here and, and just point at me when I'm driving out. Get turned around. Pull. No, at the truck. That well, dude's pretty hard there. Were well, you holding it that way? That's what? That you were holding like that? Yeah. That means you're pointing back here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, we got a good little jag on her. Uh, cord and a half for sure. Yeah, two cord would be about up up to here, so we got at least a cord and a half on there. You can see now we are sitting a little bit lower in the back, so we'll bring her up. Bring up to 85. I can hear the compressor, you guys probably can't. We are sitting on an angle here too. So keep that in mind. But we are raising. Yeah, you can see the, the ground right here is higher for sure than back there. Look at the wheel wells. The wheel wells are starting to even out. The trailer's sitting perfectly level right now. That's 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 nice. Easier on everything to do with the trailer itself goes. But yeah, we are. Take a look at the wheel wells. We're getting really close. She's definitely still coming up. She's still going. All 
All right, well, I'm gonna fire the tarp over top. We'll hit the road and good here. So, cord and a half, I'd say we got a good 5,000 pounds on the trailer. So we're at around 9,000 pounds of total weight uh, behind the truck. So trailer and wood, be about 9,000 pounds or so combined right there. So yeah, let's go. The battery's not dead. No. Yeah. Okay, hold this. Point it this way. So whatever you're looking at is what you're getting. See that a little bit? Mm-hmm. Alright guys, well the load is back, truck's unhooked, ready to go back into uh, cosmetic style. Anyway, that will not be the last load that I haul with this truck, I can guarantee you that. This truck is going to be a tool. It's look good, it's going to be a tool too. Anyway guys, that's it for now. If you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Stay tuned for tons more videos to come. As always, take care, stay safe. See ya, bye.